Hello, I am Mellow Cream, and welcome back to another Warrior High video. And before we get started, I just want to say I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. So if you want to subscribe, and like, um, yeah, that would be great to get to 2,000 before the end of the video. But today, we are discussing some new events that's happening. And the new events that are happening today is, okay, allegedly, the, the Game Pass prices have been risen. So here are the prices on screen. The prices are currently this. So, the prices have been risen across the board, except for like the most expensive ones, but most of the prices are higher. So, I was making a Game Pass video, like, I'm gonna be updated, but like, the price, the, the rankings still stand. Like, all of the Game Passes that were underneath the price range of 300 Robux have been risen. So, I think this is, they should have, they should have been risen the prices, in my opinion, because the, because the Roblox, Roblox takes a 70% cut of all of the, I think a 70% cut of all of the Robux item bought. So Royal High would be losing money, losing, not making as much as they would if they like had higher prices. And a higher price means that they would make more profit. That, that just makes sense economically speaking for them to do that. What I think with these higher prices, like the prices aren't that much higher. Like some of them are like, Okay, custom fabric used to be like five, five fifty, but now it's two hundred. Custom fabric is like not not really necessary. Like you only get a, a hundred slots compared to like the custom fabric pass is like seven thousand fabric you can use. Like they even updated the description so somebody just like, gave you more paintbrush pass stays the same. Thank God. I wouldn't I wouldn't tell anyone to buy that pass because that pass is useless. Crystal Ball Pass is the same, which is good because that pass is also basically useless. Faster Flight has risen by like, I think 49 Robux because it used to be like 250, now it's like about 300. So it's about, it's just 50 higher. So they will be making more money. And this is due to like inflation. Inflation's really bad right now. It's hitting Royal High. So I think they should have, they should have risen the prices a long time ago. A lot of, a lot of people on, on the, on the Twitter.com are really upset about this thing. They're, Devs are greedy in their cash grabs, but, but I think this is this is good because they can pay the the cost of all the game passes like equal out to like twenty seven profit for the developers, and they can use that to pay their people who work on the game. It's a it's a good amount of money for like the hours they work. Like, there should be like a right they be paid compensated for their their work. I wonder about this in my in my business class. Like workers should be compensated for their work. Theoretically speaking, so so the workers who work on the game should be paid more since they're making more money off of the game, and that should be better have better quality game because like a lot of live service games, you buy a membership and that like keeps the game alive. But Royal High is just like a one time. You buy the game passes once and you basically the game is is playable once you have the game passes. Without game passes, the game is like you're like a free to play player on Animal Jam. Non-members on Animal Jam famously have nothing. If you ever played Club Penguin, you had nothing as a non-member. But when you buy your membership, you get access to everything. On Royal High, it's like similar, but like... Yeah, but this, this like goes into having to work for your items. Because a lot of a lot of Royal High players complain about like, Oh, it takes me too long to farm. Like, I don't think it's like... I think the prices are a little too expensive, but also that you should work to get your items. Because like... What's the point of a game when you don't like take any work to do it? If you're not like, if you're not like playing the game to get there, because like there should be goals. Like, if you play a game and you can just like get something really easily, it wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be very fun to do that. Like if if everyone got a Halo easily, it wouldn't be as like fun to win one. You know, like people have problem with the pity system because that would make winning a Halo less special. Because when you win a Halo, that's like a event. Only a couple thousand or one or even less. So, working for your items should be a thing they should, you should do. You should value it in a game like, because also, if like, if Royal High is really paid a win to you, you should, you should play Fortnite, hop on Fortnite. But like, Fortnite's free, Minecraft, you have to pay for Minecraft. Animal Jam, Animal Jam is, I don't know why I'm, I'm mentioning Animal Jam, I got my membership back. Animal Jam video soon, maybe? Anyways, Animal Jam, you have to, you have to pay for your Animal Jam membership, it's like, Five dollars a month. Animal Jam HQ. That's how they keep the game alive. They gotta like, cause like they gotta keep server that. Royal High doesn't need to do service, cause Royal High is like on Roblox, and Roblox provides the servers. Royal High just runs on it. 
And Myrtle High also has other revenue streams. The toys? They're not even making that probably not that much profit from the toys because like they have to split it between the retailers, the company making the toys, and like yeah. And like when resellers sell, sell these toys for more money, no one gets anything except the resellers who are profiting off of <laughs> scalping the toys and selling them at a higher price. And like they'll only they'll only be selling at those prices if people are buying them. Because people want to complete the bingo and they want to buy the items. So that's why that happens. And also, yeah, because the Royal High prices for Game Passes have risen, but that's okay, because they will be making more Robux to fund the game and make the game better and like finish it. But this only stands when your game is a finished product. Royal High is not a finished product. I ever play Royal High? They leave so many things unfinished all the time. Royal High, like whole gameplay thing is like, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna release this now and finish it later, and they never finish it. Because Nintendo, back in like the early Switch days, they would release a game and like have updates to, to, to finish the game because the game was borderline unfinished. Kirby Star Allies is like one of the biggest ones I think about when I think about unfinished games. And Royal High is currently, it's always been unfinished. They've always been like working on something new. And then once they like start that, they like they start something new again. And like that's a problem for them. They need to like commit to one thing and finish it. And they shouldn't like just keep on going over to the next thing and decide, oh yeah. Well, this thing was bad. Campus 3 was a bust, but Campus 4 would be good. Oh, Campus 4 didn't work out, but Campus 5 is gonna be bomb. In the good way. The bomb.com. And we might have gotten sidetracked off of the, the fact that the Game Passes have risen in price. And if most, most Royal High players have already bought the Game Passes, so it won't affect most players, but new players. Because most Roblox games, Bloxburgs, Game Passes are a lot more expensive than Royal High. Like, Royal High had really low game passes for, like, prices before compared to, like, Dress to Impress is a bunch of game passes that, like, are kind of really expensive. Like, I think Blockburg's most expensive game pass is, like, 600 Robux. It's, like, $6. Most children don't have $6 and have to ask their parents for Robux. Oh, this person is looking at me. Hi. Okay, bye, they left. I think raising ga game passes are fine. Like, all the, all the, like, high value above 300 Robux. Or, like, they all stay the same. Quadruple diamond. Some, okay, so also, if you got this far into the video and you comment down below, it's like people comment that, like, this is a Roblox glitch. I hope you got here, because if you comment that before, then I'll laugh at them in the comments, guys. Laugh at the people who didn't get seven minutes in. And so, what's, what's the biggest problem is. Okay, that's, <laughs> let me rephrase that. So, what? So what the thing is people saying, if you if Roblox games have like game passes under the, like 100 Robux, it's getting risen automatically. But like for everyone, it's showing different things. So, like for mine, it's like showing that it's like this much. But on my sister's account, we can look at the, the, the store and it's like everything is different. Like the numbers are different everywhere. So I think it might be just a bug because like. Some something that's showing different things, there's different places because the double diamond is higher on my sister's account, and on my account, if you look on mine, it's like lower. So this is, might just be a, a bug. So if you guys are complaining about that, it's probably just a bug because like my sister was getting like to higher prices than me, and she has like zero robux, and that is. Why is this- why are some of these so expensive? Like, why is the crystal balls more expensive? Like, some of these game passes got risen a bunch. Like, if you look at these for the prices for my sister's account, because I don't have any game passes on my sister's account. On my account, I own all of them. So this is probably just a bug, <laughs> now that I think about it. Because this- the game passes don't make sense. Like, only, like, two of them- no, none of them have the same price as overall. They're both different, like, this is actually really funny. So if this is a Roblox bug, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Let me look at some other games. Okay, okay, sidetracked here. We're gonna look at some other game. Yes, my has my sister played any other games? Work at a pizza place. Okay, let's go work at a pizza place. So you get the store for this game. I don't know if these like they have game passes underneath. So I think only some of the games are being hit by this little bug. This little thing that's going on then your blocks off and then i don't think then your blocks off like has any game passes it's, like there's no game passes like a private server 200 bones for like then your blocks off but there's no game passes but like i know there's voice chat i'm very aware of it 
So like that your like focus like, if you look at focus with other games they have game passes i remember <laughs> they have game passes so they, they have multiple games like they have they have they have two games they have focus dance and gymnastics this is like the when you like practice your dancing and yeah there is game passes on this thing but okay but there's a big but big but look at here on on this page on if you look on here, we have the prices are like about the same for dance your blocks off. So this argument could be like Royal High is just broken. Which could be a funny thing. If you look on here, we have like um everything is the same across the board for dance your blocks off. So dance your blocks off had nothing changed. So that is a little bit crazy, a little bit a little bit spooky, silly silly. So look at this, like dance your blocks off is the same on on uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Do that sometimes. So if you see on both of these images on my sister's account, the game passes is Cosmo. You can tell it's her account because I, I screenshotted the username Sunbeam MLP. Only Phoenix decided a name like that. But my name, I mean my my account is showing different prices across the board. Like some of these are like the exact thing they used to be, but some of these are higher. So what I think what's happening is like a bug is happening that's making people pay more. Cause like I am not I'm not giving the 375 for a paintbrush pass. It's not worth that much. That's like quadruple diamonds over 20 bones. Uh uh. Faster flight being like over 300 should be. It should be like around 250. That's the original price. So I think they should just keep that there. It's like 299 on mine. So it's showing different prices for everyone, which is interesting to see that they do that. Probably shouldn't do that. But anyways, yeah. That's all for this fun fun video. Fun fun. Point because looking at numbers and like my little tantrum about games. Anyways, drink water, goodbye, subscribe.